What's up everybody, it's Michał and welcome back to Made Up Universe. It's been a while since we talked about Avengers Endgame last time, so today this is exactly what we're doing. We're gonna talk about the latest news, rumors, leaks and some memes. Coming up! <laughs> As always, before we start, before we jump into it, please consider subscribing to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button that is just right next to it. And obviously, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. As I mentioned, it's been a while since we talked about Avengers Endgame for the last time and today I really want to make up for that, just sort of rounding up all the news, leaks, that kind of things. So buckle up and let's dive right into it. But before we do that, obviously, spoiler alert, there could be things that are actually gonna show up in the movie. So let's start with some leaks. Obviously, we had a lot of toy leaks. All these toy leaks, they've confirmed a couple of things. And let's start with the first one, the Quantum Realm suits. I think it's like 99.9% .9 certain that Avengers will wear these Quantum Realm suits and they will go into the quantum realm. These toy leaks, they kind of feel legitimate, you know? They, they also show like a lot of characters and within all these characters, there's one that I want to particularly talk about. These toy leaks, they seem to confirm the appearance of Professor Hulk in Avengers Endgame. And that is very exciting news because over all these years of Marvel Cinematic Universe, we witnessed a huge development of a relationship between Bruce Banner and Hulk and sort of Professor Hulk it could be like a very good conclusion to that development. You might ask what is Professor Hulk, Michal? Professor Hulk is basically Hulk and Bruce Banner coming together because obviously you know when he becomes Hulk he stops be being Bruce Banner and when he's Bruce Banner obviously he stops being Hulk. Professor Hulk combines two of these personalities and that's super exciting. Another potential spoiler is return of a certain character and again that was leaked by one of the toys that were photographed. The return of the character from Thor Ragnarok and this is the character I really really liked in Thor Ragnarok and this character is Valkyria. I'm really looking forward to I hope this is legitimate honestly like Valkyria was amazing in Thor Ragnarok and I would love to see her returning for Avengers Endgame. Also the return of the Valkyrie might bring us something very exciting as well because she might be she might be the one to save Tony Stark because think about this she she must have escaped with some of Asgardians. Thor wanted them to come to Earth, so it we can assume that Valkyrie will be heading back to Earth and maybe just 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 maybe on her way back she can pick up Tony Stark and bring him back to the Earth. On these pictures of toys we can also see Thanos in his full armor and with his um, that kind of double edge blade that he was leaked previously on some promo art so that seemed to be confirming that you know this might be happening in Avengers Endgame. Now there are two potentially big leaks and quite spoilery leaks for Avengers Endgame. One is like a plot leak like general plot description and the second one is like a scene that someone saw from Avengers Endgame. So I'm gonna start with plot leak description. It goes like that. Apparently Tony Stark is back on Earth weekend and trying to assemble remaining Avengers together. Captain America, Black Widow, Thor, Hulk and then they try together to figure out how to stop Thanos. So the plot leak details further that assembled Avengers they try to build like something like Infinity Gauntlet to undo what Thanos did. Obviously, with the help of Ant-Man, they travel back in time and try and obtain Infinity Stones. This is basically what everyone predicts at the moment and uh, quite a lot of leaks confirms that. As always, I really hope that Russo Brothers do something that we really, really don't expect here, but let's continue with that plot leak. 
So obviously with the help of Ant-Man they travel back in time, right? Travel back in time and they try to fix some of the situations or they try to go and find the Infinity Stones and obviously Thanos finds out so he is like mad crazy to stop them. And then Avengers start to temper with the past like bringing back some of the characters and some of the items that were previously gone. And one of these items apparently is supposed to be Thor's hammer. And later in that plot leak description, it is said that Captain America is supposed to wield this hammer. I mean, this is crazy. This is cool news. This is like, that would make a lot of geeks very happy if Captain America can wield Mjolnir. Obviously in Avengers Age of Ultron, we've seen that Captain America tried to lift Thor's hammer and it kind of like budged a little bit but I guess there was no need for him to wield that hammer at that time and now well now everyone's desperate so there is an actual need and I think just because you know previously the hammer did not quite find Captain America worthy because he just wanted to show off but now just because Captain America wants to save everyone. The plot leak further describes that, you know, all the Marvel powerhouses will meet together in the final battle of the destiny of the universe. We're gonna have Thor, Captain Marvel, Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, and there's gonna be a big battle. And that plot leak says, says that we've all feared. It says that some of the Avengers will not be back. It breaks my heart. It's serious. <laughs> That plot leak also mentions that Avengers will enlist every help they can possibly get. That might be hinting at the appearance of some additional characters that have never been seen before in MCU. If that's the case, I'd be very excited to, you know, bring more characters and get them into MCU and I would be really curious who they are. There are some rumors about Black Knight, but I guess we got to wait and see. The next leak is apparent scene from Avengers Endgame. We don't know whether that's like beginning of the movie, end of the movie or so, but the scene goes like that. Apparently it all happens on Xandar. Now, now before we move on, there's something I need to say. If this is true, Marvel, listen to me very carefully now, okay? I want goddamn Nova, alright? It's about time that we introduce Nova and this is a perfect opportunity if that leak is true if that leak is true this is a perfect opportunity to introduce richard rider with the full power of nova corps come on marvel you can do it i'm sure you can so apparently in this scene thanos arrives on xandar and from avengers infinity war we know that thanos completely decimated xandar but aha uh -huh, not this time this time nova with full power of nova corpse kick his ass and he's been defeated okay i made it up okay i made it up all right i need to live up to my channel's name all right made up universe god damn it <laughs> Anyway, so in this particular scene, Thanos and Black Order arrives on Xandar. This time, it is expected that Avengers will be there waiting for him and they will battle, all right? They will battle. And then we, apparently we've got this scene with Captain America and Iron Man and Iron Man telling Cap that they're all down to wire and Cap telling Iron Man that it's about time to cut the wire. And then apparently Thanos appear in front of them and they just like getting ready to battle him and in that very moment Captain Marvel just appears and punches Thanos in the freaking face or shoots an energy blast I don't remember anyway Captain Marvel is the one who hands the power stone back to Tony Stark in some kind of box and then he hands it back to War Machine and then they put it in some crazy big device of sort and apparently that scene ends with like a big blast that takes up the entire screen. But apparently this leaked scene it ties up very well to what we already know about Avengers Endgame or what we predict about Avengers Endgame and this is that Avengers will travel back in time to retrieve Infinity Stones. Obviously bearing that in mind it's quite easy to do a lot of fan fiction just like I did a moment ago with all that Nova kind of stuff but I'd love that to happen. I really would love that to happen. I don't know how much real or legitimate these 
scenes and plot leaks are, but obviously for us it's quite entertaining even to think about them, to consider them, to see whether they make sense or not. They kind of tend to, but I'm not 100% sure I'm convinced about all these plot leaks that we've had so far. I'm kind of got an idea that the Russo brothers really keep everything under the blanket. They do not reveal much. They're just sending out things out there to just, you know, keep us off the track of what's gonna happen in Avengers Endgame. It's pretty much the same as with the title, like everyone says, an an Annihilation, Annihilation, and all of a sudden it's an Endgame. So, I guess that's what we know and that's exactly what we don't know as well. Now, listen, listen to me carefully now. There is another leak, okay? There is another leak. And for this one, buckle up. Buckle up because it's a big one. Apparently, listen to me carefully now. Apparently, in Avengers Endgame, it is a rumor that an extremely powerful character will show up. Character a lot more powerful than anyone, literally. More powerful than Thor, than Captain Marvel, than Hulk, than Thanos himself, Galactus, Silver Surfer, Celestials, like, he can defeat all these characters that I just talked about with just 5% of his power. And I hope, <laughs> I hope you know who I'm talking about right now. That's right, you guessed it. It's Ultra Instinct Shaggy. <laughs> That's right, people. This brings us to the meme section of this episode. This is a new segment I want to kind of try, so we'll see how it comes out. Recently, a very funny meme is like circulating the internet about Shaggy being the most powerful creature. Shaggy is just so powerful, like. Ah! I can't be as powerful as Shaggy, neither can you. Shaggy can defeat everyone and it only depends on him whether he wants to be good or evil. And let's hope, let's the entire world hope that he will choose to do good. Shaggy meme is good. Shaggy meme deserves a Scooby-Doo. Next meme. PewDiePie style. Next meme is really, really funny. I mean, I enjoy it personally. It's absolutely hilarious to me. Check this out. I did not invade Asgard. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not invade it. I did not. Oh, hi, Thor. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> This is ridiculous, I love it. If you don't know what this meme is about, I don't know what the fuck you're doing here, go check out who Tommy Wiseau is. Because obviously, if you don't read it in Tommy Wiseau voice, then I don't know, you're doing it wrong. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! If you don't understand it, then... I, I, I got nothing. I literally got nothing for you. This meme is brilliant, and this Loki with the voice of Tommy Wiseau deserves an Oscar. Next meme. This is gonna be two memes and they're all about Avengers Endgame and Russo Brothers. Now obviously for a while we've been talking that someone will die in Avengers Endgame and we're speculated whether that's gonna be Tony Stark, Iron Man or Captain America and I don't know, I don't know, I mean you know, could be one, could be second one. And here comes this meme. So, uh, wait a minute, what do we have here? We've got like train, two trucks, a split, Steve Rogers, Tony Stark, and BOOM! Russo Brothers! <laughs> ah, definitely, like, people are not expecting that, but it might happen. They both might be gone. And speaking of Russo Brothers, this, this meme really cracked me up recently, because it's, it's, it's extremely painfully true. This is all of us while watching Avengers Endgame. Russo! 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 Ah, this is perfect. You can straight away see that the Punisher face when he's just like so angry at Russo. That is just unbelievable. This meme, this meme deserves. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. So please let me know in the comment section below. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you enjoy the new meme segment? And obviously, what are your crazy predictions about Avengers Endgame? What would you like to see? Something like... but. 
don't give me just the normal prediction. Give me something that, you know, does not sound that passable, but something that you would like to see in Avengers Endgame. Like I said, I would love to see Nova. If they are coming back to Xandar, I would love to see Richard Ryder. I'm waiting until this character comes up. So I would love you to tell me more about your predictions, like what you're hoping to see in Avengers Endgame that's not really gonna happen. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, and as always, see you next time in Made Up Universe.